people and one cannot help but wonder so if the faces of those we've talked with the past five days will be seen again their city kharkiv cincinnati's sister city is having its most destructive day of the past five crimping communication instead of interviews across 5200 miles brief email messages like this one from nadia we are in the subway we don't come out andrew is okay but full of rage the level of feeling of helplessness is as high as it could possibly be. Um, humanitarian aid that we can do won't get to Kharkiv, it's in a war zone. And so for us, the, you know, the Cincinnati Kharkiv folks that have the friends in Kharkiv, that have the relationships with those people there, it's feeling really very hopeless. Irina's message is about the cost of freedom. We are proud of our men standing for the whole world. I am writing to you and crying. Thanks for your support, it is priceless. Starting Thursday through the rest of March, students at Purcell Marion will take a deeper dive into the history of Ukraine, the sister city connection with Cincinnati, and the reality of what's happening there and why. They will learn more about what's at stake, how we're impacted by it, the importance of standing up for what's right, and the consequences when that is not done. That's been the, the tremendous gift that the United States has given the world, not so much to be the policeman of the world, but to hold up the ideals of democracy, freedom of the press, freedom of assembly, freedom of speech, the rule of law, free and fair elections. Sister Cities International will host a Zoom meeting later this week for Cincinnati and other cities with Ukraine connections to try to determine what kind of joint effort can be made to try to help in some sort of as yet undefined way. John London, WWT News 5.